Hi, this is Simone Jardim coming to you from the US Open Pickleball Academy down in Naples, Florida. And today we're gonna talk a little bit about dinking strategies for doubles. And again, for our coaches out there uh, for, uh, that are teaching this game, uh, you wanna think of um, some of the alternatives, some of the things, some new things that you can use, uh, like the cones here, uh, just so that way you have the visual learners out there who need something to focus a target to hit to. And this is more, has a purpose rather than just hitting dinks to the, to the kitchen. So here I have, again, my one is the right, the forehand, my two is the right leg, my three is the left leg, and then my four is the backhand. Um, and again, this is just for a helpful hint, like a really good tip for my visual learners. So when the machine comes here, I am gonna focus on my recovery as well. On my recovery, I wanna think about playing defense basketball. What does that mean? My feet are set up like so, so I am ready to go, and I'm sliding to one side and to the other side, leading always and trying your best to lead with your outside leg. So that is, to me, very helpful, especially coming from the tennis background. We try to cross-step a lot of the times. So here we go. We are going to dink, and our goal here is to get to that back end. So I'm going three and four, and getting on my left leg every time the ball comes. And then I recover, of course, so I can defend the middle. And if I can have to take the ball out of the air, it's better to take it out of the air than backing up. So to adjust here, when we're adjusting the tutor, you can also adjust the speed that the ball comes to you, how fast it's coming back. There you go, that's perfect. Uh oh, there you go. Gotta be ready. I recover to the middle, outside leg, hit my three cone. And the reason why I wanna go there, I wanna try to keep the ball nice and low, but also short. Not going too deep into the, into the kitchen here. I wanna avoid my opponent of getting the ball out of the air. And that's my four spot, four spot, three spot. There, good. So with that, my focus here is to keep the ball to that corner, which is the toughest corner to play for, to play from, in my opinion. And I hope this helps you improve your game.